Welcome back to the side quest of The Last Remnant. I mean, it's basically what this LP is at this point. I think I've spent as much time just doing random side quests as I have on the main plot. Um, most of the game's content is actually in side quests. Uh, I don't know if that was intentional. Um, <coughs> one of the things that they tried to build The Last Remnant as is sort of a combination of sort of JRPG and WRPG, and I think the sort of free roam aspect of the game is sort of it's more that's more of a feature of the western style of RPG. It's not quite as linear, but in this case, well, they Come just out! you know have oh, hmm? that's just a thing. All right. It's just random awesome. side quests. Okay, uh, later. As opposed to, you know, side things to do. But uh they are very random. Well, I guess this one does involve characters who are involved in the main plot, even though it has nothing to do with what they're doing in the main plot. But this guy wants us to find just a variety of things he lost here. This is the Blackdale second entrance. Um, this is not actually an additional map for Blackdale. This is it's a completely separate area uh, that just happens to use the same tile set and such. Ooh, almost walked right into that guy. And I suppose I could actually fight some of these guys, but, you know, what would be the point of that? I may end up actually just getting ambushed by some of them, because they get kind of hard to dodge after a while. Come on out! Huh. Okay, later. That was what I was looking for. That was just an excavation point. Oh, it's up there behind the chest. Bunch of recipes and some money. There are a couple of chests that I should probably go back and get. Um, there's one in the, the Great Subterrain, for example, that has 10,000 gold and uh, a weapon in it. Uh, the weapon is pretty useless to me right now, but, you know, 10,000 gold is easier than doing more grinding for money. I've been doing some grinding for money kind of off screen. Um, I'm presuming that you don't want to watch me sitting there. Uh, just sort of whacking away at the uh, dive point at uh, uh, Crookfin, but that's where I've been doing it. And I just saved off screen there. Just in case I accidentally ran into an enemy and didn't want to have to fight them. Maybe I'm a little obsessive-compulsive about the whole avoiding fights thing. The low battle rank game was much more important on the 360 version of this game, where essentially if you didn't do that, you would be unable to improve your character's stats in the game. I mean, just, you would get, you would hit a, okay, later. a, uh, a brick wall. There's actually a couple of interesting uh, hmm? dig things here, so I'm going to dig off screen and. Uh, I'll be right back. I generally, when I'm playing this game, just make digging a, uh, you know, make sure I do it every time I run through an area, especially if I run into something that I don't have, uh, especially if that something is a dig, you know, sort of the dig dig points, uh, where you're, you know, going for rock or metal, because uh, those get used in a lot of things. There's actually less variety there, uh, though there's still a fair number of choices. This here is the uh, Boots of Remembrance, which are another piece of Jorgen's uh, options. I forget which ones they're required in. I may have actually been able to come here instead of doing uh, Roberto and Ophelia's quests to recruit uh, the, the various Jorgen bits, but I don't think this quest is available as early um, as the Roberto and Ophelia quests. So We'll have to get back to them. The fifth treasure. Ooh, almost got caught by the tree there. Come on out! Okay, weapon later. recipe 35. Most of those weapon recipes are pretty useless, actually. Um, there's a treasure here, but there's also a treasure chest. I'm just gonna grab the treasure chest so I don't have to come back to this area unless I, uh, you know, need to do some digging or something.
But there's the sixth treasure. And, uh, you know, uh, I found your treasure. Apparently he forgot about me. But he pays me anyways. All of these Salia items um, are part of another quest in Royosha, and there are nine of them total. And it's another sort of completionist quest, where if you've done all the other side quests first, you get a bunch of uh, items out of having all those Salia in your inventory. None of those items are super useful, but they're worth having. Speaking of Roberto and, o and Ophelia, maybe we'll, you know, we've been leaving them hanging for a couple, uh, maybe 20 episodes now. Let's, uh, let's go and, uh, give them a hand. Not much chance we're gonna be able to finish this quest in this episode, but we can at least get it started. And we're heading back. I should actually look and see which episode number it was when we are actually doing this quest before. But uh, it was a while ago. I think I only had 12 party members at the time. And again, we get a guest union for the party. Those crabs are part of a uh, guild task, and I guess I can just fight them for that sake, but we'll fight crabs, crabs enough later. Um, I'm going to wait until I have party members who Come are requesting out. crab bits. Okay, later. We've now, I've never actually gone up into the sort of the top left part of this area, um, at least in this LP. There's not a whole lot up there. But I think there's some chests. I think the map of this area is up there. Oh, hey! Here are our Lost Knights. Unfortunately, somebody appears to have broken the stairs. And uh, Roberto says there consist of six connecting paths spreading across the continent, so we just gotta find an exit. Oh. Yeah, these dragons do Damn. that. And I guess I'm just gonna have to fight this guy. Oh well. I think I need some more Asdea talents anyways. They're a little bit vicious, actually. Oh well, good uh, opportunity to practice some healing. And we do have Roberto here as a guest union. He's not superpower, but he is, I mean, he as a single character has more hit points than most of his kids. So, he'll also, you know, take up a spot in multi-deadlocking, so that it's easier to flank this guy. Guys, sure fire failure fails again. And we get this is our first rear assault. Rear assaults happen and essentially they're they're like super flanking attacks. And then you get massive strike after that. And massive strike is like super super flanking attack. There's still plenty of power left in these old bones. Well, I didn't get what I wanted as far as drops, but oh well. Those, uh, were dragons as Deha, whatever you want to call them, uh, there are a couple varieties within the species, um, they, uh, all have that ability to essentially keep you from moving, and, uh, it's sort of annoying. 
they're one of the enemy types, I may be forced into fighting more often. Uh, but they're nice, you know, sort of beefy enemies. Come they're not on! weaklings, so I don't mind fighting them once in a while. Okay, later. Here are a bunch of them right here. There's also this guy in the path with a bunch of monsters. And uh, we're going to have to fight our way through them. And just for the sake of not being embarrassed about getting caught by uh, things, I am going to actually have my uh, party members just attack the nearest group. Hopefully we won't get intercepted. Interceptions will give you morale penalties. But these guys are hard, so I don't know why I'm thinking about it. But I guess they, they're strong enough to survive in a, a round of attacks. Better than a lot of them. About two rounds. Go, Bob, go. He would actually. Roberto is actually a fairly decent character. Um, I have used him in the past. I mean, my first playthrough through this game, I used him. Um, he's kind of boring. Um, he doesn't really have a whole lot of skills, but he does have a lot of hit points and a lot of strength. And he's, you know, just sort of a, a piece of meat to uh, keep your party busy. Okay, that's all it goes. And uh, I don't know why Rush keeps learning Mystic Arts when I'm not using Mystic Arts at all, but oh well. Strategic withdrawal, strategic withdrawal, yeah, run away. And I'm also actually going to bother to uh, get all the chests and everything, because I don't really intend to come back here. Bunch of the more random components in the game. I'm just going to use time shift to get by these guys. But, uh... This gate will take us to the next area and the next episode. So, we'll see you then. Well, I'll show the, the, the entrance here and just save on the other side. The final fortress.